Hi y'all. I just wanted to come on and make a video real quick. I'm sure y'all may have or may not have heard that Obama was addressing Alex Jones, um, calling him out and calling him a demon. Y'all, it just made me think about that vision that I had about Obama transforming into like a, a monster or a beast or something. Um, not to say that this is uh, what I'm, what he did today. Was it today or yesterday? Yesterday was a fulfillment of that vision. But I think it's just, um, I think it's just strange that he would go out of his way to actually address Alex Jones. I don't know if y'all know, Alex Jones is controlled opposition. Um, he does pitch some truth out. Um, and like I said, every once in a blue moon, I'll go to his channel and see what he's talking about. Um... But the fact, and, and the fact that Alex Jones' name is being tossed around during this campaign and debate um, is just surprising to me. I would think that they wouldn't want to just because people want to start searching for the truth. And y'all listen, I know Obama's got an evil spirit and I think that we are about to go to war and I think we are about to see some changes. Um, if you didn't see the, I'm not saying that this what he did yesterday was a fulfillment of that vision. I think it's just a beginning. Um, and y'all can go back and look at it. It's the first five minutes of um, that video, me talking about Obama. Also, we have Hillary Clinton stating that she is the, she is the, uh, how does she put it? She's the only thing standing in the way of the apocalypse. Y'all, we know that's not right. <laughs> Jesus is the only thing standing in the way. The Holy Spirit is the only thing standing in the way of the apocalypse. And I think also John Kerry said something about, it may have been John Kerry, it might have been somebody else, who said that when you look at the news, it, 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 it's kind of like reading the book of Revelations. Y'all, listen. The fact that they are using... Biblical terms, biblical scenario, scenarios, it, it makes me feel as if they're mocking us. And it also should be a wake-up call to the church, those who might be sleeping or who might be lukewarm. That things are getting real, y'all. We really are. The biblical prof prophecy is being fulfilled every day, y'all. And we are in the end days. And I just think that it's a mockery for... The secular world, the Satanists, the, the the candidates, the the government to be using these terms, y'all. I think it's just, I think they're laughing in our face. And which brings me to another point. I'm gonna keep this video short, y'all. Um, Brother Mike, man of God, made a great video, mentioning the fact that y'all we about to go to war, perhaps with Russia. You know, I, you know, I already had a dream about that, and you know, I don't expect the elections um, to take place or we may not have somebody's seat in office. Um, I really do believe that something's going to pop off. Um, you can go back and watch that video. But, <clears throat> y'all, the fact that people are sitting on YouTube, Christians, calling people out, uh, making series about people y'all i mentioned something because somebody said something to brother mike man of god and i had just I had just i think i went off on them y'all y'all listen when we expose and false prophets and, and 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 witches and and you know sorcerers and and things of that nature yes false prophets and mega churches yes Brothers and sisters who humbly <sighs> pronounce uh, their faith and are humble, um, y'all, we, we, we don't need to be attacking them. If you want to rebuke somebody, you know, go to them, like I said in the video, uh, with the rapture to be. Go to them. Edify, you're supposed to edify, edify, rebuke, but listen, 
when Jesus rebuked a person, he never made a television series out of it. When he rebuked Peter, he didn't constantly go back and forth with them. When he, when they were on the ship, the disciples, and the, and, the, and there was a storm, and and he rebuked the wind. Uh, he rebuked the wind, and he let that be. Y'all, when Jesus or a disciple rebuked something, they didn't. They rebuked that thing, and they went on about their business. <laughs> there is no such thing about, and that's how I know. This is a device of the enemy trying to cause division, y'all. All this back and forth, you will make a television series about somebody who you think is a false prophet or whatever. You repeat that thing and you go on about your business. If they accept it, and especially if they forgive you, why are you going to keep making videos about that person? This is ugly. This is a device of Satan to cause division. People don't have no lives, y'all. We about to go to war, perhaps. Uh, <clears throat> individuals need to be saved. And people on YouTube make videos about other people. Like I said, in the rapture debate video, I hit the unsubscribe button. Y'all, we don't have time for this. We have to be stocking up our food. Um, we need to be solidifying our little hustles. Uh, making sure our kids are fed. Making sure that we're in a, a, in a, in a place where we can um, uh, lead people to Christ. You can't lead nobody to Christ causing drama. So anyway, y'all, keep an eye on the news about this war with Russia. Y'all keep y'all's head up. Y'all draw closer to God. Um, I might not, you know, I haven't in the past couple of days, I haven't even really been watching YouTube videos like that. I don't need the drama. I need peace, especially in times like this. Um, things are about to get real, y'all. Um... I am going to go ahead and do my little studies, and I'll, if I'm going to come back and make videos, it's going to be on something that's going to help somebody and encourage somebody. Um, I'm not worried about this drama this drama that's going on on YouTube. Um, Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all keep your eyes on the elections. Keep your eye. well, you know, y'all listen. We got Obama talk about demons. We got John Kerry talking about revelations. We got Hillary Clinton talking about the apocalypse. We got <clears throat> Donald Trump, and I know I heard the video on CNN once, uncensored, talking about somebody's coochie. Y'all, we got to be careful that we're not being caught up in the mainstream media. They going all out. Evil is increasing. Like the Lord said it would in the last days, y'all. If they can talk about all this stuff on TV, um, I think they're trying to desensitize us to some things simply by making a mockery of Christianity and also putting out this vulgar language uh, that they said that Trump said and, and it going on the air uncensored. Ain't nobody want to hear about no horror, sir. Y'all... I don't even go there. I'm not even going to go there. But um, y'all keep your eyes on Jesus. Let's see God's face. It's about time for us to get out of here. I just know it. I don't even feel right being here. I don't. Something something just don't feel right. And instead of being in fear, we just uh, seek the peace of God. Um, ask God to cover you with his blood and his protection uh, of his holy angels. And we about to get up out of here, y'all. All right, y'all have a good day. I'll come back and make another video um, perhaps soon. And I will talk with you later.